Hello, my name is Kelly Hidgley. I'm a presenter and the Associate Director of Administration for the Singing Voice Science Workshop. I serve on an advisory committee for Voce Vista Tools for Singers Incorporated, and I have been a collegiate voice teacher for 28 years. Before his death in 2020, Don Miller, a longtime mentor and friend, had a compelling vision for the use of real-time visual feedback of the voice to assist teachers and singers. I am part of a group that is committed to continuing his legacy of science-informed voice pedagogy. And to that end, I would like to suggest some ways in this video that Voce Vista might be used in a voice lesson to assist with vibrato. This video should be considered a companion video to vibrato analysis with Voce Vista Video Pro by Voto Moss. Now, understanding that ultimately decisions about vibrato will be made in the context of aesthetics and vocal style, it is nevertheless beneficial that a singer be able to maintain a consistent rate and extent of vibrato, as well as a rate and extent that fall within certain parameters. So let's define some terms. First, what is vibrato? Vibrato most commonly refers to a fairly regular oscillation of fundamental frequency in singing. This figure by Johann Sundberg from his presentation in 1994 shows four aspects of vibrato. The rate describes how often the vibrato cycle repeats within a second and is described in cycles per second or hertz. The extent describes the frequency excursion from the mean frequency in either direction and is measured as a percentage of the mean frequency and then often translated into cents. The regularity describes how consistent the rate and extent are, and the waveform uh, describes the shape of the wave, which is often compared to a sine wave. Based on most research, and particularly for the purposes of classical singing, aim for a rate of about 4.5 to 6.5 hertz, and an extent that is plus or minus 3% to 6% of the mean frequency, which is equivalent to plus or minus 50 to 100 cents sense or what Voce Vista measures uh, extent in. Just as a frame of reference, 100 cents equals a semitone. Remember that regularity should be a higher priority than rate or extent. Before you plan to use uh, Voce Vista to assist with vibrato in a voice lesson, make sure the student is warmed up with regards to breath and flexibility. I've included a few exercises that may be helpful. I would like to point out John Nick's article, Shaken Not Stirred, because it includes a number of exercises meant to work on vibrato. Many of his exercises use moving notes into sustained tones, and this pattern is repeated in Richard Miller's exercise for vibrato in the structure of singing. So let's look at a possible scenario for introducing Voce Vista into a lesson to address vibrato. Think of it as a three-week module. In the first week, plan on eight to 10 minutes. Present Voce Vista as a mirror for the sound and demonstrate so the singer can get an idea of what the readout will look at. Decide on a simple exercise with a clear goal. I'll suggest an exercise in a moment. In week two, plan on a slightly shorter session, five to eight minutes, repeating what you did in week one to reinforce. In week three, do a quick check-in and recap Ideally, save samples from week one and compare them to week three and notice the progress. Over the three weeks, correlate the improvement of the singer to kinesthetic or oral feedback. Ask them questions that help them to connect the changes they are seeing in Voce Vista with the changes that they've made to their, pro their singing process or to the way that they are hearing the sound. This will help return the student to their usual feedback information and away from needing visual feedback to accomplish the goal. I always like to mention what Voce Vista is good for and what it is less good for. Voce Vista is really good for building awareness and making inconsistent skills more consistent. Voce Vista is not good for providing the how. So if your student lacks the basic skills to accomplish the goal, back up and build those skills, some kind of framework for those skills, and then apply visual feedback. Let's look at Voce Vista. Let's look at useful settings for assessing vibrato. I'm going to start with factory settings because this is the way the program will open when you first access it. 
I often recommend activating uh, number four, the full toolbar, so that the actions you need will be present on your desktop. Minimize files and markers and the Val chart, and you should be left with an analysis panel that includes vibrato. Click on show rate and show extent. I like to turn off the staff view since the keyboard offers enough reference for pitch. You may want to resize these windows. You will not need a large power spectrum window since you'll mainly be looking at spectrogram. Go to the spectrogram button and turn off display spectrogram. We'll just be looking at fundamental frequency. I like to narrow the frequency range of the screen to the fundamental frequencies that I'll be singing. I'm going to put the range from 220 hertz to about 1,000 hertz. That encompasses the soprano range approximately. All right, let's look at how we measure vibrato. That was a brief clip uh, by Collis. So you have two options for measuring vibrato. You can measure it locally at any point. So at this point in the vibrato, I have a rate of 5.9 hertz, an extent of plus or minus 59 cents. I can also click and drag to get an average. The mean vibrato rate is 6 hertz, and the mean vibrato extent is plus or minus 65 cents. The vibrato window is showing you the vibrato rate over time and the vibrato extent over time. And so you can see how much the vibrato rate changes over time and how much the extent changes over time. The first exercise I would like to suggest is for those students who sing with a fairly straight sound. This exercise helps students find the oscillation of vibrato. So this exercise is simply a long tone. As the flow and pressure come into better balance, the oscillation of vibrato usually emerges. So this can be a way to introduce a student to the feeling and the sound of vibrato, and the visual feedback helps them know when they have met the target. The second exercise I would like to propose is a five-note descending scale, and this would be for students who do sing with vibrato but not consistently. Often the most challenging place to maintain vibrato is across changing pitches, especially in stepwise motion. So a five-note descending scale gives the student the opportunity to practice uh, sustaining a consistent vibrato. First, I'd like to play the patterns that I often hear in students that are not consistent with vibrato, often with alternating patterns of vibrant and less vibrant sound. When the student can see the patterns of vibrant and less vibrant sound, it becomes an easy adjustment to find that consistency of vibrato. After a few tries, students can usually maintain a consistent vibrato across the five notes, like this. When using Voce Vista to reinforce consistency of vibrato, I have often seen uh, the process accelerate by weeks or even months. So let's recap. For students with minimal vibrato, use long tones with Voce Vista to allow the student to see when the oscillation of vibrato starts 
as a way of reinforcing the sensations, both oral and physical. For those with a healthy vibrato that is inconsistent, use a five note scale to build consistency of vibrato on changing notes. Another place to look is on pickup notes where students who generally sing with vibrato will often sing with a less vibrant tone. Arpeggiated patterns also present a challenge. And this is a great place to work on maintaining consistent vibrato. And one final place to look is when moving from an open to a closed vowel. For vibrato that is too wide, too slow, or too erratic, I recommend making a recording of the student to be analyzed at a later point by the teacher. Look for moments where the vibrato is optimal, either the most regular or the rate or extent that you most desire. Think about the vowel the student is on and the general context of where this best practice occurs, and then build exercises around perhaps this part of the range or a particular vowel. And you may use Voce Vista to help either you or the student to identify when the target is being met. Keep in mind that these issues are often related to breath energy and laryngeal stability. If you are curious to learn more about vibrato or other topics of singing voice science, go to www.singingvoicescience.com and consider joining us for a lecture or the workshop. Thank you.